All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to place standard components. And by standard components, I mean we're going to bring in a, a washer, a bolt, a washer, and a nut um, to, to fasten this thing together. Inventor has over 1.2 million standard components built into it. So if you did the full installation and you installed all of the, uh, all of the standards, um, you have access to over 1.2 million standard components, shapes, standard steel shapes, fasteners, for example, and the tools that will help you determine whether or not this bolt is the right size bolt based upon your application. So let's just go ahead and say, you know what, I'm going to place from Content Center. So I'll hit the little arrow down here and say place from Content Center. And I'm going to go ahead and browse to, you'll note that I have fasteners, I have bolts, I have a hex head bolt, and I've actually filtered this down a little bit. If I turn off the filter, I have over 210 hex head bolts that I can choose from, and those are just the families. Each side of, inside of each family, you have all the different available sizes. So you can imagine how much information that we've put into the content center for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and filter this down to the ANSI uh, standard and tell it that I want a heavy hex bolt uh, metric. So I'll double click on that. And you'll see this little glyph that's kind of attached to my cursor. And as I float my cursor over this hole, you'll notice that the bolt size automatically changed based upon the closest available bolt size uh, for that hole. That's pretty sweet. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to determine the size of this thing. And I'll just grab a hold of this glyph here and kind of stretch it on out to the available size. And that looks about right for a washer on both ends and maybe, and maybe a nut. But how am, I, how am I to be sure? Well, let's go ahead and take advantage of the bolted connection generator. This is pretty sweet. I think you're really going to like this. Now it's going to tell me I have to save the document before calling up the uh, design accelerator. And I'll go ahead and do so here. I'll just call this clamp. And there we go. So the bolted connection generator pops up. And this is a really, really easy to follow um, dialog box here. And what it's telling me, all right, I've already figured out the starting plane. I've already figured out the circular reference. The thing I need to know is the termination plane. So I'll go ahead and pick the termination plane. And you'll see that it automatically changed the size of the bolt. Well, I need a washer on one end, a washer on the other, and then the nut. So what I'll do is over here on the right-hand side, I'll click to add a fastener. Now what that's going to do is it's going to reach out to the library of components and give me access to a washer that's going to work that is to standard, um, another washer that's going to work, and then, of course, the, uh, uh, the nut itself. All right, so as I'm grabbing these components, you'll, you'll, you'll see the preview of it actually going through, building out, lengthening the, the bolt where it's appropriate, um, because I did grab a rather wide nut for this application. Um, but nevertheless, you saw the, uh, the options that I had here. So based upon the size of this hole, it's telling me that a, that a 12 millimeter bolt's gonna do the trick. Well, how am I sure? This, is this M12 really gonna stand up to the forces that are gonna be applied to it? Well, let's go ahead and check this out. I'm going to go ahead and estimate that 1,500 newtons are going to be applied to this uh, in, in multiple directions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and choose 1,500 newtons. I'll go ahead and choose calculate. And in fact, what it's telling me is, is hey, you don't need a, a, a 12 millimeter bolt. You, in fact, need an M14. So I would have made a mistake right off the bat by just guessing based upon the whole diameter size of a part that already existed as to whether or not this, this, uh, this bolt was going to uh, hold up to the stresses applied. So right inside of the bolted connection generator, I can determine um, not only the, uh, the appropriate bolt size, um, but also have it build the geometry for me. So I'll go ahead and choose OK. And now it's going to go ahead and place those components into the assembly and position them relative to where they need to be. That sure beats inserting individual components over and over and over again, because you can imagine how many fasteners you're going to put into an assembly. So like I said, that's a real quick uh, Rob's tips and tricks on putting uh, assemblies together. Like I said, it's, it's probably the most difficult transition to, for new users to 3D. I highly recommend, of course, you're going to go through the tutorials. And the next ones that you're going to want to go through are certainly uh, assemblies, um, drawings and drawing styles. Um, and then uh, there's, there's also a lesson in there on the content center. And what I'm going to do next is uh, after you've gone through those tutorials, go ahead and, and, uh, and log back in. And I'm going to talk about, uh, about a couple other ways that I feel are 
really just fantastic workflows in, in terms of uh, putting assemblies together that I think you'll really benefit from. So uh, go through those tutorials and uh, I'll see you in a little bit.